the day where a lot of people, let's be honest, may skip the normal workout. Maybe you want to get some extra sleep. Maybe you're watching TV, enjoyed a cup of coffee. We know that missing a workout can affect the waistline, but new research also has some surprising results about what it can do to your brain. So here with more is Dr. Tatiana Friday, a neurologist from the Norn Neurological Clinic in Abbott Northwestern. Doctor, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. We talk about this. We know that we should exercise, whether that just be going for a walk, going for a run, whatnot. But we think of so much about our body and like our, you know the, the weight loss and our trying to get tone and things like that but that has a direct impact with your brain as well it exercise does. talk a little bit about that because there's a lot of ways actually exercise directly affects our brain I'll talk a little bit about direct and indirect ways in which it does this so mm -hmm. directly it helps uh, our brain by stimulate stimulating brain growth and this is done by a growth factor which is kind of takes care of the overall health of the brain cell mm -hmm. it also um, stimulates the, bro the gr uh, growth of brain blood vessels as well as overall just health of the uh, brain cells itself. It also releases some hormones that helps with um, different things like neurotropic uh, growth factor and helps us um, it helps us stay alert, it helps sure. us stay active. Um, there's a lot of positive things that exercise can do. So what, what if we skip, you know, what if we skip an exercise here or, there, or we end up skipping a lot of exercises? What can yeah. it do for our brain or to, to our brain? Yeah. You know, I think the regular use of exercise is the key. The occasional skipping exercise is all right, but I think it's that chronic nature of just exercising, keeping it part of your daily routine. Mm -hmm. I think indirectly it helps us a lot in different ways. So it helps um, it re release endorphins, which helps then reduce our pain perception, makes us feel good. Sure. It helps our increase. You get kind of that rush. You do. You feel good about yourself and just good about the day. Yes, absolutely. It also helps increase our insulin sensitivity, which is important to prevent diabetes. So when we eat, our, our food turns into glucose or sugars. And in order to ourselves to use that, we need insulin. And so by exercising, we increase that sensitivity and, and make it more effective. So, how, I mean, how often, how many days a week, and, and what's the duration? Is it 30 minutes? Is it an hour? What would be your recommendation? I, I don't know if we know that precisely, mm -hmm. but current recommendations are about a half an hour every day, and that's, you know, good aerobic, moderate uh, exer exercise. So sure. get your heart rate up, sweating a little bit. You don't have to do it for two hours every no, single day. It's just not realistic. People not. don't have that time. It's a, a brisk walk. It can be mm -hmm. horseback riding. It can be swimming. There are a lot of different forms of exercise, but it's just getting up and moving. Is there one form or, or, or certain forms of exercise that are better for your brain than others? Are there sports or are there activities that you would say, okay, if you're going to really want to focus on this, do this? My answer to that would be any exercise is good exercise. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that the important thing is, um, it, it, this is really important for middle-aged and elderly individuals as well, is to incorporate exercise, make sure that we're active. We, we'd end up developing more diseases as we age. Sure. Observational studies suggest that we can actually prevent some of the normal age-related decline in our brain by keeping very active. Um, the other thing is by having good cardiovascular health, we can prevent later on in life different things such as vascular dementias, okay. which results in uh, poor blood flow or, or occlusion or, or um, reduced blood flow to the brain, which leads to changes in, therefore, dementias. Oh, okay. And so that can help totally our help memory. Us, yeah. Absolutely can help our memory and alertness again and cognitive function overall. There you go. Dr. Tatsuya Friday, thank you so yes, much. We appreciate thank you it. for having One me. One more reason to get out and yes. get outside today.